Welcome to the Enquest DCOM North Sea Virtual Stand. This video presentation will play on a continuous loop throughout the day except between 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. That's when we'll have Enquest representatives from multiple disciplines available to discuss our decommissioning activity and answer any questions you may have. Presenting today will be Andrew Doherty, Enquest Project Services Manager, Will Black, Decommissioning Project Manager, and Kerry Wheaton, Decommissioning HSE and Regulatory Lead. We've developed this presentation to help raise awareness of Enquest decommissioning activity in support of industry engagement and collaboration. Enquest's strategic vision is to be the operator of choice for maturing and underdeveloped hydrocarbon assets by focusing on operational excellence, differential capability, value enhancement, financial discipline. Our UK business is managed within three directives referred to as the upstream, midstream and decommissioning directive. The upstream directorate consists of Kraken, Magnus, Greater Kitty Wake Area, and our most recent acquisition, the Vresi Field. This directorate is focused on our producing assets for Enquest seeks to maximise economic recovery by extending and developing field life. Enquest decommissioning operations include Thistle Deveron, Heather Broom, Almagalia, and Dawn Fields. Enquest Decommissioning Directorate manages the decommissioning programmes for assets that have already ceased production and the group's mature producing assets, which are between one and five years from cessation of production, or COP. The timely transfer of assets from the upstream directorate to the decommissioning directorate allows for effective end-of-life field management and the development of relevant decommissioning programmes. Enquest is focused on delivering world-class decommissioning safely, at the lowest possible cost and the lowest possible environmental impact, in line with your company values. I'd like to hand over now to my colleague, Kerry Wheaton, who will provide an overview of your approach to health, safety, environment and assurance regarding your decommissioning activity. Here at Enquest, our values embody everything the company stands for and they underpin the way in which we want to work with our stakeholders in achieving our strategy. Safety sits at the core of everything we do as we aim for safe results with no harm to our people and respect for the environment. We conduct our business and our relationships with respect and openness. We work collaboratively to achieve exceptional results, driving a focused business to achieve success. We always pursue growth and learning opportunities to unlock our full potential as teams, individuals and the company as a whole. Enquest is committed to operating responsibly. We will not compromise our health, safety or environmental standards to meet our business objectives. Health, safety, environment and assurance is integral to all our decommissioning activity. No one working on the project, whether directly or indirectly, is excluded from the responsibility for ensuring they meet defined HSC and A requirements for their own particular activities. One of the most fundamental priorities for our decommissioning projects is to identify all foreseeable credible hazards with the potential to cause an incident involving loss of life, serious harm to people, significant environmental impact or major damage to our assets. Enquest will undertake its decommissioning operations 
in compliance with all applicable legislation and regulatory requirements and will enact its obligations under duty of care to ensure that all waste is responsibly managed from cradle to grave. Enquest is committed to recycling and reusing at least 95% of the waste produced from our decommissioning activity. So that we can achieve this target, we follow our corporate waste management plan in order to manage waste from our decommissioning activities in compliance with the applicable regulatory framework and other obligations within our HSE policy, effectively manage the activities of our contractors and subcontractors used in the supply chain, identify and implement future changes in environmental legislation, measure and monitor the performance of our waste management strategy, actively engage with stakeholders and communicate the performance of our decommissioning activities. I'd now like to pass the mic on to Will Black, who will provide an overview of our current decommissioning activity. As you'll have seen from our decommissioning schedule, Enquest is seeking to take a portfolio approach to decommissioning in order to gain efficiencies, ensure best practice, and to seek continuous improvement across our business. The ability to approach our decommissioning activity as our portfolio helps us explore value adding opportunities with our supply chain, regulators, and other operators where possible. I'd like to share with you now a brief overview of Enquest decommissioning operations, including Heather Broom, Thistle Devron, Ama Galea, and the Donsfields. Heather, located in the east of Shetland Basin, Heather and Broom are adjacent oil fields that were produced through Heather Alpha, a fixed steel offshore platform with Broom connected via subsea tieback. The Heather plat Alpha platform is an eight legged steel jacket with 33 modules supporting drilling and production facilities. There are 41 platform wells and a total of six subsea wells from the Broomfield, which are tied back to the Heather Alpha. First oil from Heather Field was achieved in 1978, but in February 2020, Enquest confirmed that it would not restart production from the Heather Field, following production being shut down in late 2019. After a public consultation, Enquest subsequently received the necessary regulatory approvals from the UK Oil and Gas Authority in respect of COP. A 42 year producing life for any asset in the North Sea is quite an achievement, but now our focus turns to safely decommissioning the Heather and Broom fields. Key dates for this decommissioning project include well p and commencing in 2021 with target completion in 2024. Engineer Down and Clean will also start in 2021 with target completion in 2024 in support of top size removal in 2024 and jacket removal in 2025. Subsea decommissioning will span a window from 2022 through to 2024 as we seek efficiencies and a portfolio approach with our subsea, other subsea decommission activity. Thistle Devron. Located also in the east of Shetland Basin, Enquest acquired an interest in the Thistle Devron fields in 2009 and put in place a programme to extend their useful lives. 
Work was carried out on the wells and on the platform itself, which saw the asset's life expectancy increase significantly. The Thistle platform is a four-legged steel jacket with 34 modules supporting drilling and production facilities. There are a total of 60 platform wells that have to be plugged and abandoned as part of the decommissioning project. First oil from the Thistle field was achieved in 1978. Enquest shut down the platform in 2019. Along with our original operators, Enquest helped to achieve a 41 year producing life for Thistle. Our focus has now turned to safely decommissioning the Thistle and Devon fields. In March 2020, Enquest announced it no longer expected to restart production at the Thistle field. A COP application was approved by the regulator in July 2020 with an effective decommissioning date of 31st of May 2020. Project activities related to the removal of the two redundant crude oil storage tanks from the platform jacket were completed in July 2020. The facility remained permanently unmanned throughout 2020 with rehabilitation of the asset achieved earlier this month. Key dates for the de Thistle decommissioning project include well p a commencing in 2021 with target completion in 2024. Engineering down and clean will also start in 2021. Targeting completion in 2024 to be ready for the top site removal in 2025 and the jacket removal in 2026. Subsea decommissioning will span a window from 2022 through to 2024 as we seek efficiencies and our portfolio approach with our other subsea decommission activity. Dawn fields. The Dawn fields are a collection of offshore oil fields that are produced via subsea tiebacks to the northern producer floating production facility. As the first field owned by Enquest, the redevelopment of the Dons area was a great example of how Enquest's ability to create value. For the Don fields, cessation of production occurred in March 2021, following receipt of regulatory approvals. Earlier this year, on the 19th of April, the northern producer floating production facility was disconnected from the field and handed back to its owner, Northern Offshore Limited. The vessel is now moored at Kishorn on the west coast of Scotland. Subsea decommissioning on well p a will span a window from 2023 through to 2027 as we seek efficiencies on a portfolio approach with our other subsea activity. Alma Galia. The Alma and Galia fields were redeveloped as a single joint development, revitalizing reservoirs where production had previously been shut in. They were tied back to the Enquest producer floating production storage and offload, or more commonly known as an FPSO vessel. On the 30th of June, 2020 COP occurred as planned. The project team achieved top sites and subsea preparation for disconnect within 80 days. The work was completed in September 2020 when the Enquest producer FPSO moved off station. She is now moored at the oil terminal jetty at NIG. Subsea decommissioning and well p a will span a window from 2023 through to 2027 
as we again seek efficiencies and our portfolio approach with our subsea activity. I'm now going to pass you back to Andrew Doherty to wrap up this presentation. Thank you for watching this presentation from Enquist. We hope that you found it to be informative and that we've been able to successfully share something of our decommissioning vision as a responsible operator. If you have any questions or would like more information on Enquist decommissioning activity, then please contact your decommissioning technical assistant, Anne Taylor, via email. She can be reached on anne.taylor at enquest.com. Meanwhile, stay safe and enjoy the rest of the decom week.